What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to teach you and I'm going to show you how to create a trailing stop but this time it will be working with several positions opened at the same time. So if you want to know how to do that, stay with me until the end. So first of all, I have created a bot that does the following. So you can see here that for example, now we will open positions but I think yeah, you can see that the positions open, you have a stop loss, but the stop loss is not moving. And we want this stop loss to move, and we want that stop loss to move from all the different positions. So, guys, how do we do this? First of all, what we have to do is to come here to the IDE and edit the bot. So here, we are going to create a function trailing stop, which will modify the stop loss of every position. So how do we do this? First of all, let's declare a function that is going to be called trailing stop. And this trailing stop is not going to receive anything, but is going to contain all. So it means that we are going to modify all the positions in this function. So here you have to notice one thing. We have several positions opened and we have to iterate through all of them and say, hey, I want you, I want to change this. I want to change this. So yeah. So what we can do now is to simply do a for loop for int i equal 0 i less than positions positions total this function returns the number of positions opened and here we put i plus plus so now the first thing that we need to do is to take the ticket so for that we are going to declare a unsigned long variable and this unsigned long variable is going to call to be called ticket and here we are going to call the function position get ticket and we just need to send uh, an index okay now another thing is that we need to select uh, a position and for example if we go here to the position get double and we go to the information of this function here it is said that you need to, to select a, a position by using this function or this one. We are going to use this one because it receives an index and is very similar to this one. So here, instead of zero, I should put i, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so now we are going to use that function, which was get symbol. Let's take this, this, and we put here an i. And okay, now we are fine. We have selected that uh, position and now we need to modify the stop loss of every position. So now, since we have selected that one, we are going to call a function, trade uh, trailing stop. But this function is for, an, for a unique uh, position. So for that, we are going to send a ticket. We are going to put here ticket and yeah, that's fine. So now the next thing that we need to do is to declare the code of that function, the training stop one. So here we receive an unsigned loan, which is the ticket. And now we just need to take something. So for example, we need to take the open price in which the position was uh, opened. So for that, we are going to put here open. So we put position get double and now you can see that here we have position price open price current etc so the one we want is price open the next thing that we need to do is to take the current uh, stop loss of that position so for that we are going to declare another variable which is going to be sl and we are going to call the function position get double and we are going to take the position sl stop loss Finally, we need the current price and we can do it in several ways. For example, here I have this uh, array of candles and I'm going to use it, but there are several ways of taking the actual price of a position or a, or a market. But yeah, we are going to say here, well, we are going to declare here this uh, current price candles. We want the actual one, the last one. And yeah, that's it. So now we need to check one thing. So for example, if the stop loss is here, let me open the paint. So for example, if the stop loss is here, the actual one, and the current price is here, we need to set a margin in which we are going to say that, hey, if the price is below this margin, 
update the stop loss and move it the margin again so for example now the stop loss will be here and it will be uh, the margin above so for example if these are 2000 points the margin the new stop loss will would be 2000 points above the current price so how do we put this how do we declare this first of all we need to declare that margin so we are going to put here margin the cell 2000 and we are going to multiply this by point perfect and now we need to say one thing if the current stop loss minus not this minus the margin is all is this bigger well in this case is less than the uh, no I'm wrong is this bigger than the current price then what we are going to do is that we are going to use the trade object that we use in this bot and we are going to put position modify we put here the ticket and this is the ticket that we receive final well uh, the stop loss the new stop loss which is going to be the current price minus the margin stop loss and the take profit since we are not going to put a take profit we are going to put here a zero so we put here a zero and now i think we are ready to go but we need to obviously call this function somewhere so here in the on tick function this is the right place we are going to call this function so now we press compile we come back to the metatrader 5 and here you select the bot and all that for example yeah like this you click start and now let's see what happens so here okay we are not opening positions but once this uh, is above 55 it should open positions so for example here we open positions it was too short but we need to check that the stop loss is being updated. In this case, it's not being updated. And it's not being updated because this is wrong. So, for example, instead of current place minus, since the stop loss is above, it is a plus. So we compile again. Let's close this. And now we click on a start. So let's see what happens. Okay, so now we have to check if the stop loss moves. So once this goes up, so for example now you can see that a stop loss is moving but here you are watching this in a better way so for example here you see that it doesn't matter how many positions are open that the stop loss is modified and is modified for all the positions for all of them so this is the very useful thing so yeah guys this is everything for how to uh, implement a trailing stop on a bot that creates a lot of uh, positions and yeah, if you understood the video, give it a like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next one.